This video will demonstrate setting a T-low based on the expiratory time constant measurement. So we're going to look at our ventilator simulator and we're going to start if the patient was tra um, transitioned to airway pressure release ventilation from traditional mechanical ventilation. So the patient is currently in pressure control ventilation with a pressure control at 20 PEEP of 8, 75% oxygen. And based on the other presentations I gave, I'm going to go over the settings. So I'm going to select the mode. I'm going to select, well, before I select airway pressure release ventilation, I want to look at a couple of things. I want to look at under my monitoring, and I want to take a couple of measurements, and I want to look at a plateau pressure. So if my ventilator doesn't allow me to do an inspiratory hold maneuver to get a very accurate plateau pressure, I can look at a plateau pressure measurement. It's here, as you can see with my cursor, of 28. So I want to use this as a starting pressure for my PHI. So I'm going to go to airway pressure release ventilation. I'm going to confirm it. And that brings up my settings. So I have a PHI of 28. And it transferred over some of my settings. Uh, P low, I'm going to change this to zero. Uh, T high, this is an appropriate T high setting for an adult patient is six seconds. And I'm going to set my T low based on my, actually my expiratory time constant. So that's one thing I need to look at. So I'm just going to cancel this right now. And I forgot to do that. So I'm going to go to monitoring. Some ventilators will calculate a expiratory time constant for you. Um, Hamilton ventilators, they calculate an expiratory time constant. You can mathematically calculate it by looking at the time constant equation. I know the servo I also calculates a expiratory time constant. So under my monitored values, I'm going to go under this is component compliance right under this this RC expiratory that is resistance compliance expiratory this is actually my respiratory time constant of 0 0.2 seconds I'm going to use that to set my my T low so let's go back here let's select APRV again I'm going to confirm that and my T low is already there at 0 0.2 seconds I'm just going to confirm these settings. And I'll show you what this does based on the waveform. So we're going to look at my pressure waveform. We're going to look at my flow waveform. So the rationale of setting my T low based on my expiratory time constant, it's a very quick way to set T low. It's precise. So when using this measurement, the T low to maintain the lung volume at approximately 75% of peak expiratory flow rate. So if we look at my um, flow waveform, and I'm going to go over this in another presentation. I can look at my peak flow, expiratory flow, right here, and, and then it's ending here. My termination point's approximately 75%. So this ensures that expiratory lung volume and prevents alveolar closure during the release phase. So that is setting T low based on the expiratory time constant.